Welcome to the, the Upper Room. United Prayer International once more time comes via uh, internet. You know, we have a powerful, powerful program on YouTube and Facebook and, you know, our efforts um, and it's our desire of our founders, you know, to make sure that we continue to uh, encourage everybody in this area of prayer. Uh, we are living in very tough times, you know, and so today, Again, by popular demand, you know, we have Pastor Louis Sainz. And thank you so much for being here with us, Louis. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, pastor blessing. Louis is, um, he is a regional pastor. Uh, he's a pastor of Victory Average Eagle Rock Spanish. He's got a very thriving church. Um, you know, powerful, powerful um, gift that he has in interpreting. So he does interpret for Pastor Sonny in the conferences and, and, and the ladies as well. He's everybody's favorite. <laughs> so we just thank God. Plus he's my, my spiritual son. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's special. Amen. Lord, thank you so much for coming once more time. And I, you know, um, I thank God for you. And I thank God that with you, uh, with many others as well, uh, that you believe in prayer, you practice Amen. prayer. And I yes. seen, I seen yourself, you know, many, many times locking in with God and, and sometimes you'll call you, you're fasting, you're praying, you're getting a hold of God, having all night prayer meetings. You're a person that values prayer. And I think that that's part of the reason why uh, Pastor Sonny and all our leaders that feel comfortable with you helping us uh, with Prayer International, the Spanish world. Amen. You know, and thank you Amen. so much for, for that. Thank you, Well, Pastor. you know, our, our theme, I want everybody to please uh, take a little time and call your friends. Call your friends. Call family members. Stop things, you know, that are going on right now because we are giving you some relevant help yes. in these moments of need. Yes. You know, and um, uh, we're going to have, our theme is going to be prayer in times of peril. Mm. Uh, prayer in times of testing. Yes. Pe you know, prayer in these dangerous moments. Amen. So please stop, call somebody, get, get on your phone real quickly and call somebody so they can tune in. And uh, if you miss any of our programs there on YouTube, uh, the Opera Room, uh, you just go for Prayer International or rather yeah, Victory Hours International. Go to YouTube and, um, and it gives you all the programs there. Amen. You see the vision cast. You see also the upper room. But we just thank God for this opportunity that God has given us to convey the heart of Jesus, you know, with everybody, which is to stay close to the Father, yes. the Holy Spirit and Jesus in prayer. Yes. Amen. Pastor Lou, we, what do you think about our, our theme today? I think it's uh, very relevant, especially with uh, the season that we're in, uh, not only as um, individuals, but as the church of Christ. And in the journey of the, from the birth of Christ mm. to where we are today, there's been many seasons. And we've entered another season where there's uncertainty and people are yes. not really sure about what's going to happen. Mm. Um, but I thank God for the, the, the word of God. I thank God for the gospels. I thank God for the power of prayer. Mm. I thank God for victory outreach, yes. for the body of Christ. Mm. That even in, in these times of peril, we're able to continue doing what God has called us to do. Yes, yes. And I think that's key because a lot of times when things don't go the way we think they mm. should go, then people tend to shrink back yes. or their yes. faith is affected mm. or they lose confidence, uh, even though our confidence should always be in him. Yes. And I think today's theme, you know, prayer in times of peril. I mean, if there's anything we should be doing now more yes. than yes. anything else, yes, more than surfing the web, yes. more than yes. binging on yes. uh, Netflix movies, more than just hanging out and mm -hmm. ordering food is it's like, man, we need to pray. We need to pray. You know, Louis, I think that a lot of people they're um, they're wondering what is going on. Even even people that are not saved, you know, they they started to wonder because this corona is not going away. Right. And there's there's many uh, theories about about this corona, but they can't deny that something bigger than Trump, something bigger than. United States, something bigger than every army, something bigger than every every king, something bigger than money. It's 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 something causing this thing here, this this coronavirus. 
And some people, they think it's the end of the world, the end of the times, you know, the rapture is going to happen. And I, I really believe that the rapture is around the corner. Hmm. I, that's my personal belief, you know, and I, 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 I believe that Corona is a rehearsal for mm-hmm. the rapture. You got that, because I believe that there's going to be, after the rapture, there's going to be a lot of, the Bible talks about the trumpets, and it, it talks about um, the seals, the trumpets, and the bowls, mm. you know, during the tribulation. But there can be no, no tribulation, in my opinion, uh, unless there's a rapture. Mm. And in, uh, in my opinion, there's nothing that needs to take place, you know, prophetically for the rapture to take place. Everything is already be fulfilled. It's just the trumpet needs to sound and we need to be raptured. So mm. I'm saying Sorry. this to you, not to scare anybody, but, but to just let you know that uh, in this perilous times, we can look to Jesus. Yes. You know, even in my own church, I mean, the Lord led me to, st- to speak on Jesus uh, for a whole month. Of August, I spoke on Jesus, and the Lord told me, get their eyes from Corona, get their eyes from the politics, get their eyes from the problems, and get their eyes on me. The author and the finisher of our faith is Jesus. Yes. Amen. So today, we got, how do we stay close to Jesus? You know, uh, there's, a, there's a, our text uh, today, Pastor um, Louis, is, is found in John chapter 15. Verse, uh, we're going to be reading verse 1 through 5, and then, oh, and then 7. The Bible says, I am the vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. You are already cleansed because of the word which I have spoken to you. Abide, that word abide. I'm going to come back to that one. It's meno in the Greek. Mm-hmm. Abide in me and I in you. As the branches cannot bear fruit of itself unless they abide in, in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in, in me. I am the vine and you are the branches. He who abides in me and, and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. <laughs> That's scary. Oh, man. Yeah. That is scary. Without me, he says, Jesus says, without me, you can do nothing. Yeah, you may have high IQ, but still that remains. Without him, we can do nothing. Uh, you may have all the degrees that you want. You may have all the money you have. You may have the charisma, the looks and all that. But Jesus says, without me, none of the things that you do will count for eternity. Amen. So, um, what do you get out of this uh, scripture? Well, um, there's so much that we can pull from it. Uh, but one of the main things I feel, Pastor, is it comes down to our personal relationship with the Lord. Yes. It, it comes down to connecting mm. with Jesus and, and, and being really intimate with him. I think as Christians, we want to bear fruit. Yes. As, as Christians, we, we want to do great exploits. As Christians, we want to expand the kingdom mm. of God. And sometimes, Pastor, in our journey, whether we're ministers, leaders, life group, victory home, wherever we may be at in the capacity that we're serving Mm -hmm. the Lord, sometimes we get caught up in the work. Yes. We get caught up in the task and we get caught up in the work and and we neglect or, you know, unconsciously we don't take care of what needs to be number one, which is our relationship with the Lord. Yes. That has to be number one. That is number one. And when you look at this portion of scripture, it was Jesus talking to the apostles. He had brought together the apostles. Uh, He was about to surrender himself to die on the cross for our sins. And he's just reminding the apostles. He's reminding the disciples because those were perilous times. And yes. when you look at the uh, historical context of the scripture, um, they were looking for Jesus. They were persecuting Christians. Mm. They were killing them, incarcerating yes. them. Uh, so many things were happening, um, happening to them. And, and the disciples were fearful. Mm. They were fearful for their lives. So Jesus reminds them. He says, look, it, if you don't abide in me, if you're not connected to me, then you won't be able to do anything. Because uh-huh. I believe that the task that he was calling them to do mm. was outside of their culture. Because remember, he was telling them, go into all the world. 
Yes. And Jews really had nothing to do with other people uh -huh. except, you know, business. I mean, they wouldn't marry other people. They wouldn't live with other people. They wouldn't eat with other people. I mean, and, and so now Jesus is telling them, I want you to go into all the world yes. and reach all these types of nations mm -hmm. and people. So for a Jew, that was like, wait a minute. What, what are you saying? I can't do that. Mm -hmm. I don't even relate to that. Mm -hmm. But then again, Jesus says, if you if you abide in me. If wow. you connect to me, yes. then you will bear much fruit. And I uh -huh. think that a lot of times, and I speak out of experience, and what I've seen is that a lot of times as Christians, we want to do so much for God. Mm. I don't know if somebody can say amen. I mean, we Come all want to do on. something for God. Yes. But reality is that sometimes we're not connected. We're not abiding. We're not putting mm -hmm. Jesus as number one. So then we don't see the fruit that we want to see. You know, in this scripture, my, one of my favorite words is, is abide. Mm. Because abide in the Hebrew is meno. Uh, M-E-N-O, meno. And that word meno, it's, it's synonymous to, like when you solder one piece of metal to another one, mm. it's unbreakable. Right. It becomes just the same. Just like my finger uh, dwells, you know, as men with my, with my nail, they men are together. They're, they're stuck together. And this is what, what Jesus is saying. You need to men with me. You need to like fuse yourself with me because, because when you fuse yourself with me, what I am is going to transfer into you. Mm -hmm. See? That's good. And, and, and so anyways, maybe, I know you have a little illustration. Yeah, you know, like I was saying, a lot of times um, as Christians or leaders or a lot of times as pastors, we want to we want to fulfill the Great Commission and we want to see fruit and we want to do what God has called us to do. But unfortunately, because of whatever reason, sometimes we disconnect yeah. from the true vine mm. and, and we begin to depend on the lights and the smoke and the music and, you know, all these things which, you know, have their place. But Jesus clearly said, if you're not the main thing. abiding in me, if you're not connected to me, then you will bear no fruit. Wow. And it doesn't matter how That's much scary. you work. And so I brought, a, I brought a little vine. I brought a little vine here. Just a little illustration, you know. And I think that as, as Christians, we want to bear fruit, right? We have a little apple right here represents fruit. We want to bear fruit. And the Bible says that if, if we abide in the true vine, yes. right, we are the branches. And if we abide in the true vine, mm. then we will bear much fruit and, and God will be glorified. Yes. Right. That's what it says. Uh, uh, if you look at John 15, it says, Jesus says, if you abide in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. And my father that is in heaven will be glorified. So we want to glorify the father yes. by bearing much fruit and the yes. fruit will remain. But if we're not connected. Mm. If we're, I saw this uh, this branch and I said, you know, I'm going to use this as an illustration. And and I cut it off with the vine. So it doesn't matter how hard we work. Come on. Me and you, pastor, and the people that are here, we can mm. put our minds together and our mm. our resources and our giftings and say, man, can we can we make some fruit come out of this mm. branch? Come on. I mean, we probably could tie a piece of tape on here. <laughs> And make it look it's like it, work. but there's no way possible. But if it was connected, mm. then by nature, wow. it's the nature of the branch to mm. bear fruit. Yes. So that's what Jesus was telling his disciples. And that's what he's telling us today. Even in these times of peril. Yes. You know, yes. I have seen so many people prosper right now, mm. Pastor. A lot of people are, oh, it's yes. difficult and things are. Mm. Yeah, but if you connect. Yes. If you're broken, if you're before mm. him, then Jesus promises. He guarantees it. Yes that you will bear much fruit. So I think that, um, you know, uh, the main goal, my main goal right now is I need to, I need to abide in Jesus. I need to abide in him. You, you know, know? I, I sense that uh, there are people here that are watching us right now, that they're frustrated in this parallel yes. times. They're frustrated. Uh, they're, they're fearful. Um, you know, they, they keep looking at TV, you know, and when, when you look at TV, uh, there, there's hardly no good news. Mm -hmm. You know, everything is, is pretty much negative uh, from politics to uh, the financial status of our country, people dying of corona, people getting infected with corona. 
And, uh, and so people are living in fear. You yes. know, you'll fear for your children, for your grandchildren. Wives fear for their husband. What, what if God takes my husband? Or maybe the husband's fear for the wife. What if God takes my wife? You know, you see a lot of things going on. But, you know, the truth remains. Yes. Is that it, Jesus says, if you abide in me. Yes. Forget about Corona. If you abide in me. Forget about this crisis that you're going to, forget about the parallel times. You will have peace. Yes. You know, in me, he says, you're going to have peace. Yes. Right? And this is what we need. We need, we need God's peace to be guaranteed in our lives. But in a guarantee by abiding in the vine. Look, if this branch, if I suddenly just, you know, take this little branch and just put it aside, assuming this was a life, Eventually, this is going to die. Yes. It's going to wither away. And this is what happens to a Christian that disconnects himself from prayer, disconnects himself from, from the Word of God. That's why Victory Hours, we're big in prayer. Huge. You know, we're big in yes. prayer. We're big, we're big in the, the rehab homes that we have, the victory homes that we have, the MTC, the UTC, uh, the, the base churches, every church that we're going to send out. The first yes. thing that we tell them is prayer. Because prayer, it, it keeps you abiding in Jesus. And that comes from our pastor, yes. Pastor Sonny. It comes right yes, from the yes. top. Pastor Sonny and Sister Julie, if there's something mm. that they always value, if there's something that they're always putting before us. The other day I heard a statement, mm. Pastor. I, I heard um, somebody was studying movements, uh -huh. great movements. And they said, you know, every great movement, starts with a founder that knows Jesus, that mm. is connected with wow. Jesus. He says, but also mm. every great movement dies because its followers know the founder, but they don't know Jesus. Wow. And, and when I heard that, I was so grateful because mm. Pastor Sonny and Sister Julie, they're always pointing us towards Jesus. Yes. They're never, they're never, never. They're, I've never heard. They're so simple people yeah. and broken. And, and I thank God for our leadership because they're always telling us, you know, it's about Jesus. Connect with Jesus. And even in our history, mm. we're able to see every time there was decisions to be made, what would our pastors do? They would separate. They would connect. They would get direction. And that's why we have United Prayer International. Yes. That's why the upper room exists. Yes, yes. That's why we're here today speaking to those of you that are out there, brothers and sisters, uh, family of Victory mm. Outreach and beyond the Christian world. Yes. And, and we just want to encourage you. We want to let you know that in, in this time of mm. peril, yes. amen, it, it's about John 15. It's about abiding in him, yes. connecting in him. And if we do that, then we're going to bear much fruit. You know, Moses, I mean, Moses would go to the mountaintop, right? Mm -hmm. And he would come down and, and the people would go to Moses and they would be in awe with Moses. But, you know, we have the opportunity to go straight to the Father. Wow. We don't have to the go to, fire, yeah, we don't have to go to a, a middleman. Mm. Amen. We have access to the King of Kings and yes. the Lord of Lords. Yes. And all we got to do, and that's why the enemy is mm. so crafty, right? I got the, I What's the first the thing the devil steals from a Christian? His prayer life. He can still keep going to church. He wants us to disconnect. Hey, let's go to church. It's all right. As long as you ain't praying, as long as you ain't connecting to the true vine, as long as you ain't getting a hold of Jesus, ah, you could go to church, the fellowship, the conference, just don't connect. And the enemy's like that, you know? And so we need to unmask the yes. enemy. So people can be connected to their church, they can yeah. be connected to their pastor, yes. to the pastor's son, That's or to it. the pastor's wife. They can uh -huh. be connected, but unless they connect... To Jesus. to Jesus. Then the they become mind. like this. They become like this. My God Almighty. Bear no fruit. Yeah. Because they're not connected to Jesus. You know, Lord, there's, there's the, one of my favorite scriptures, and, I, and, and um, uh, many people may not uh, understand uh, this scripture as a blank check. Uh, in, in, in the same verse that we were just read right now, John chapter 15, verse 7, God gives us a blank check. Mm. And basically he's saying, if you abide in me, ask whatever you want and I'll give it to you. Look at what the Bible says, verse 7. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire, my God, mm -hmm. and it shall be done for you. Man, that's a blank check. Yes. That's a, you listen, if Bill Gates gave you a blank check, 
<laughs> Wouldn't you cash it? <laughs> you know, you know it's not going to bounce, right? Or Carlos, Carlos Slim, or you know, a, any one of those rich multimillionaires or billionaires, and they give you a blank check, you're going to get excited and you're going to cash it. But can you imagine their money cannot cannot cleanse uh, sin? Their money cannot cleanse uh, leprosy or or sickness or even the corona. You can pay all the money. People are still dying yes. from cancer. People are still dying yeah. from high blood pressure. People are still dying from different things. So, you know, but, but only Jesus can not only heal your sins, but also heal your body as well. Yes, I he says, it. if you abide in me, my words yes. abide in you, ask whatever you desire. Yes. I tell the people, look, if you just, it's so simple. Listen, church, it's so simple. Abide, mental with Jesus, and let his word abide in you. He says, ask whatever you desire. <laughs> That's like, it's a blank check. As long as it's in line with the word of God, ask whatever you desire. So what are, let's, what are some of the things that you desire? I, I, I desire for my grandson, Christopher, to get saved. That's, that's, that's my desire. Amen. And yes. I'm praying for that. Uh, that's what is God's your will. desire? Maybe you desire for Papa to get saved or Mama to get saved. Or what is your desire? Maybe to get a better job or get education, a, 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 academics. What is it that you desire that is in, a, in one accord to the will of God? Amen. The Bible says, you will have it. You shall have it. Listen, I can, I can say this respectfully, you know, without, you know, but, but it, you know, got to be a liar, if you're abiding God, his words are abiding you. If he doesn't give you what, what you what you desire, he'd be a liar. And listen, God is not going to put something like this in his word and, and fail. This is like, you, listen, this is the reason why you have so many Christians that, that are just on fire for God. So many Christians, you know, that are prospering even in this parallel times because they're abiding you know how many people in this parallel times, they have finances, they're, they're raising finance to buy their own house yes. in our own church. Yeah. Um, recently, one of the couples of our church just bought their house. Um, and so God has blessed them mm. in the pandemic. And I really believe that the scripture here also has to do with transformation. Yes. You know, because I think when you abide in him mm. and when you you're fused with him and you become one with him, then your desires change. Yes. You know, um, James talks about selfish prayers. Mm. And I think that your prayers are no longer selfish, yes. but your prayers are to glorify God. Like pastor said that Christopher would be saved, that that mm. would glorify God, that the church would expand that would glorify God that that there would be much fruit yes, and that it would yes. remain that would glorify God that the kingdom of God would be preached to all nations mm. that would glorify God so I think that as we connect with them especially in these times of peril pastor yes. You know, I don't want to I don't want to do things out of my own strength. I'm limited. Mm, I'm yes. feeble. I'm weak. I, yes. uh, you know, my heart is deceitful, mm. like the Bible says, above all things. But if I'm able to connect with him, yes, if Jesus is able to become number one in my life. And, mm. you know, it reminds me a lot of times of the the prayer of, of Samson. No, not Samson. Solomon. Yeah. In comparison to the prayer of David, mm. you know, Solomon asked for wisdom. Mm. And, you know, we all say, wow, what a powerful prayer. And and, you know, it was because he said, Lord, give me wisdom to lead your people. Yes. And, you know, we need that. But when you compare it to David's um, prayer, I think it's Psalms 27. Mm. He says, all I want to do is dwell in your presence, wow. man. All I want to do is abide in you. All I want to do is know you better. Yes. And a lot of times we get that confused. A lot of times our prayers are like, oh, I want to do this and I want to do that and I want to do that. When in reality, it should be, Lord, I just want to know you. Yes. Who did that? The Apostle Paul, right? Mm. I want to know you. I want I want to fellowship with you. I want to suffer like you did so that I can do your will, so that uh, I can bear fruit. Yes. Not what I think, but what you think. And even in these perilous times, Pastor, mm. even in this season of uncertainty yes. and financial bankruptcy for many, sickness, mm. man, God is not a man that he should lie. That's right. He's not a man that should, he, he fulfills yes. his promises. Yes. And if he says, if you abide in me, and my words yes. in you, then ask whatever you wish, whatever you desire, yes. whatever you need. Incredible. Now, the, the key, I believe, is that mm -hmm. our prayers are not going to be selfish yes, that's prayers. Right. That's right. They're going to be prayers according, like you said, to the will of God. So for me right now in this season, what's number one in my life? 
Mm. Is it building my church? No. Is it getting bookings? No. Is it eating, you know, ordering good food? No. Is it spending time with my family? No. What's number one in my life right now is my personal time with the Lord. Because wow. everything else will yes. stem from that. You know, um, Louis, uh, something that, you know, with, with me is that w when I, I was born in Mexico City, and at the age of six, you know, I was molested. And, uh, and ever since then, I, I don't know, something happened to me that I will never cry as a young man. So I didn't cry uh, until 19 years old when talking to Jesus. Mm. But when I came to Jesus, uh, his presence, man, mm. yes. <laughs> his presence, the presence of the Holy Spirit. Yes. You know, gratefulness in my heart for his salvation in my life, it just yes. makes me broken in his presence. And, uh, you know, I, I, there, nothing satisfies like Jesus, yes. nothing, nothing, no drugs, no amount of finances or popularity, you know, no, no amount of, you know, sex or anything like that, you know, because you have people that have all of that and still commit suicide. They're empty. They're empty. They're empty. You know, at the end of life is like, yes. you know, everything's like Solomon, you know, everything's yeah. vanity. Yes. Right? You know, so I think that right now I sense pain in, in the heart. There's moms, you know, I, I sense right now that there are moms and, and, and parents that are just watching us. Yeah. Maybe if sons or daughters that are watching us because you got pain in your heart because somebody in your family are not saved. And you know we're living in perilous times. They're going through it. And, and, you, and you know that if they only turn their, God to, to their hearts to the Lord, yes. if they only begin to abide in God yes. you know, and allow His Word to abide in them, you know that everything will change. Yes. Pastor Lloyd, can you say a prayer? Because I feel that this is a... a very piv pivotal moment of our program here today. And I believe that miracles are going to happen as, as we pray together. Yes. Can you just, you know, of just course. Go. Amen. Right there where you're at, if, if you're tuned in today, I'd like to ask you to just bow your head and close your eyes and, and reverence to the Lord. I believe that God is speaking right through yes. this avenue, amen, yes. through social media or YouTube, wherever you're at. Amen. Father, we come before you, Lord, right now in the yes, name no of God. Jesus. In the name above every other name, yes, my God, Lord. the name to which every knee shall bow and every tongue shall yes, confess Father. that Jesus Christ is Lord. Father, you came, you sent your son mm. so that humanity would be saved, yes, saved Lord. from sin, yes, saved from themselves. And yes, Lord. Lord, as we journey in this gift of life, mm. many times we... We make bad decisions or we become victims of life, Lord. We yes, suffer, Lord. we hurt, yes, Lord, Lord we, we fail, my God. And, and there's an emptiness within our heart. Tragedy visits us, crisis. Yes, Lord. Uh, and Lord, I just pray for every mother. I pray for every marriage. I pray oh, for Father, every young person. Me, I pray for everyone that's listening, Jesus, that is connected Lord. to this uh, social media platform yes, of, of spreading mm. the gospel, Lord. And I yes, pray Lord. that the Holy Spirit, right there where In they're Jesus, at, would visit Visit them personally, my God. Yes, Father. Because your word says that it's by your spirit that you attract us to your presence, Lord. Yes, Lord. And I pray that you would send angels, in my Jesus God. Name. I pray the blood of Jesus yes, and the Lord power God. of the Holy Spirit, yes, my God. God, to break every yoke Lord of bondage. Lord. I declare every Lord. chain Lord. broken, my God, Mike. Every yoke that it yes, would be Lord destroyed, Lord. Lord. And most of all, I in pray, Jesus Holy name. Spirit, that the peace of God would come name. upon that house, that vehicle, that yes, room. Lord that God. classroom, yes, that God. place of work, wherever yes, they may God. find themselves, God. Because yes, you're an omnipresent yes, God. Lord, in you're an all-powerful God. Yes, There's Lord. nothing impossible for you. Yes. And we pray right now, Lord, that... You are the true vine. Yes, Lord. There's so many vines out there, Lord, false yes, Lord. vines yes, that, Lord. Lord, they bring a false security and that cause people to be bankrupt emotionally yes, and spiritually. Yes, but you are the true vine, true Father. Vine, Lord. And I pray for those that are listening that they would connect oh, to the true vine. You said, come to me, yes, all Lord. those of you that are tired yes, and Lord. heavy laden, and yes, I will give you rest. Yes, I will give you peace. And yes, Father, this afternoon, this morning, oh, wherever yes, you're at, whatever time, 
blame is on whatever country. Yes, we want to let you know that Jesus loves and you. Jesus Father, is. love them this afternoon, yes, this morning. Lord. Holy Spirit, touch them right yes, there with Father, that. We pray for healing. Their needs, we, we pray for salvation. We pray for miracles, yes. signs, and wonders. Yes, because we believe, yes, Lord. Lord, that you're able to do above mm. and beyond, my yes, God. What Lord. we could even imagine or pray, mm. yes, Lord, Lord. Because you're an awesome God. Yes, Lord. Father, bless mm. each person. Bless your people, yes, Lord. Lord. Bless those that are coming to you, yes, Father, Lord. and empower them Ooh, with the Holy Lord. Spirit, Lord. We declare it. We seal it, Hallelujah. my God, in the name of Jesus, yes, by faith, yes, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Ooh. My God, hallelujah. Ooh, come on, somebody. Again, we just yes. feel the presence of God. The Bible there says that when there's two or more gathering yes. his name, he shall be there. Yes. Amen. And um, Pastor Louis, you know, as you were praying, and I know that God, you know, God was healing people. Amen. Uh, especially moms. I, I, I can see moms that are watching us with tears in their eyes. And I see the, and then some pops, I see the tears in their hearts. You know, for the family, some, some people, they feel uh, overwhelmed with the needs. You know, perilous times is perilous times, you know, and these moments are here. But God is big. Yes. God is too big. Amen. You know, God is awesome. God loves you. Yes. God loves you. You understand that? God really, really, really loves you. Amen. And so um, when must accept uh, his answer in his own wrapping paper, in his own packaging. Because sometimes we, we want God to answer our prayer the way we want to, the way right. we desire, you know, but his ways are higher than our ways. Yes. So you must uh, understand that God does answer. Amen. And so anyways, I just, I just thank God for this awesome scriptures that, that we just shared today. Yes. Especially... Um, you know, when he says, you know, if you abide in me, you will ask whatever you want. Yeah. So every time, listen, uh, it's just important for you to understand that every time you pray, something's going to happen. That's right. It's a guarantee. That's right. It, listen, it's a guarantee. Something is going to happen. Yes. I mean, we see it modeled through our elders and our multi-regionals. We have godly leaders. Yes, we do. You know, and they, yes, we they, do. they're learning from yes, Pastor Sunday and Sister Julie. We have tremendous legacy. Yes. We have tremendous examples. And everything we have around the world is because of the prayers. It was birthed through prayer. Yes. It was, prayer. It, and it was birthed because of the scripture. That's it. They abide in God and yes. they ask and God has given us. Yes. God has given, given us treasures out of darkness. God has given us the nations. And I'm going to ask for 120 people to sponsor me for Run for Hope for $300. I'm asking Amen. God. I believe that's the will of God. That's going to teach some of you to sponsor me. Come Amen. on, somebody. I'm going to go. I'm going to go to Las Vegas and back. I'm going to go to Bakersfield and back, and I'm going to go to Mexico. They want to Mexico a thousand miles. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to pray. Amen. Because yes. I want to back up my pastors. I want to back up our leaders. I want to back up this movement financially, not with just with my mouth, but with my with my life. Amen. Yes. And and uh, so, anyways, I don't know. I jump. Hey, I jump I, I threw I, that I, one in there. I, I jump. I, I jump right into hope. Just in case, right? You know. Yes. Yeah. But you yeah, know what's where, exciting? You know, underneath this thing here, I got my got run, run for, for hope, hope T-shirt. Come, Come on, on Come on, somebody. I, I'm pregnant with this thing here. Yes. <laughs> Run for hope. I'm writing for hope, everybody. I'm writing for hope, man. And we're raising finances so that people can find Jesus. See, that more people need to know that Jesus is real. More people know that if they are buying God, if they are buying in Jesus, listen, their poor days, their bad days are over. He'll guide it you. He'll it guide doesn't you. mean that they're, they're guide not going to know trials. I think he'll guide you because mm -hmm. when we look at Pastor Sonny, many yes. times he's shared with us, he's always sharing with us yes. that when he started, when him and Sister Julie started, you know, it, what was it? It was East LA for Jesus. Yes. Right? It, it, he didn't start with this global vision. Mm. I'm sure it was deep within his heart, but it was, you know, East LA. And then as he abided, it became California. And as mm. he abided, it became the nation. Yes. And, and as he abided, we stepped into other nations. And then all of a sudden, you know what? We're, it's the inner cities of the world. Yes. Because they abided. And you yes. know what's exciting, Pastor, mm -hmm. right now for me, what's really exciting wow. mm. now that I'm getting older, hallelujah, mm. praise on. the Lord, Come on. is this third wave. Mm. 
is this third wave. And that statement that I heard really, uh -huh. really stuck to me. It says, great movements start with the founder that knows Jesus, but they die with people mm. that know the founder, but they don't know Jesus. Yes. And I'm excited because this third wave is knowing Jesus. Yes, yes. And if there's something that Pastor Sonny has modeled, mm. has preached, has yes. instilled, and Pastor Ryan and the team yes. and so many of these third waivers that are rising yes, up, yes. is that, you know what? You got to get connected Ooh, to Jesus. My God, come the on. The true now. vine. And yes. if they're able to do that, then the yes. nations, right? Yes. We're saying that our descendants will uh, uh, take the desolate cities. They will inhabit the nations. Yes. And we're seeing it happen. Mm. It's a whole new generation that is being brought up with the vision for the world. Yes. So know? we asking everybody to please, you know, intercede, you know, intercede for uh, Pastor, Pastor Ryan. Yes. I love that man. You know, I love his heart. You know, he's a, he's a jewel. You know, he has the heart of God. And he's got the vision of a grandpa. He's got, he's got the vision and the heart of grandpa and grandma. So uh, I think that, you know, he's doing a tremendous job. But I know that he gets attacked. Sure. Right, because he's one of the leaders, yes. main leaders, and so we need to pray for him. We need That's to right. pray, you know, for those of them that are be going to uh, to start base churches. Yes, you know, I think that we're going to be having a base church in Los Angeles in the, right. in the future. Come you on know? now, and so we need to pray for Guadalajara, Mexico. We need to pray for Panama yeah. yes. base church. We need to pray, continue to pray for uh, for Amsterdam base yes. church, and we need to pray for, continue to pray for South, South Africa, Africa base yes. church. And please pray for our elders. Pray, man, I love this man so much because I, I, they're my friends and I see the, the load and the responsibility they carry. And sometimes if the devil cannot get to them, he'll try to get to the children and their churches. Pray, listen, we need to pray, everybody. Come on, man. Yes. We need to abide in God. We need to yes. go back to prayer. We need to go back to fasting. These are parallel times. Yes. And we need to protect our founders and our leaders, our multi-regionals in prayer. We need, to, we need to protect our regionals and local leaders yes. in prayer. Yes. Let's, let's pray for all the core ministries. And so I'm challenging everybody to please, let's have a revival of prayer. Amen. Amen. Yes. Uh, Pastor Louis, thank you so much for, for you know, being with us, man. What a blessing, Gloria man. I want to have you again and again Señor and again. Es bueno. you know, and uh, we need to pray for prayer yes. for Mexico. Yes. Mexico, Central, South America, yes, that God Spain. Some, somehow will allow us to yes. do these programs in Spanish. Maybe in Spanish. Yes. You know, so that this way all the uh, Guadalajara, all of Mexico yes. and, and the Spanish world can Amen. also benefit, you know, from what we're saying here today. Definitely. Well, we reach um, our time, uh, uh, you know, and I just want to, you know, encourage all the ladies, you know, to, to stay tuned. Yes. Uh, to this week. Women's convention. It's a women's convention. Awesome. Mama Julie, come on, we pray for her. Let's continue to pray for all the people that are leading this women's convention. Amen. And, and, um, and, and encourage everybody to tune in. Amen. And as you do that, don't forget, you know, that run for hope is just around the corner. Come on now. Back up your pastor. Back yes. up your leader. Amen. Back up this movement. Uh, go to your jobs. You know, go to your employer. Go, you know, use creative ways to raise finances. Amen. And I want to appeal to all the leaders. Get excited about run for hope. Yes. Get excited. Make it, I, I just I want to see our little dog run. You know, I'm going to write for hope, you know, but I want, my, I want to challenge my wife to get that little dog. We have a, a dog, uh -huh. beauty. <laughs> she gets excited. I yeah. think she may win, you know. So anyways, uh, don't forget, it's going to be October the 17th, Run for Hope. Uh, the upper room, it's, it's um, you know, it's on, you know, Pastor Sunny, Sister Julie, uh, Vision Cast, uh, every Tuesday and Thursday at 12 o'clock and uh we're going through the archives, you know, and we're learning a lot about the things that have happened in the past. Please tell somebody about Vision Cast, you know, and we, we have our, you know, our, you know, in our channel, YouTube. Uh, it's exciting to see what, what, what is happening and also what happened. Don't be afraid of this corona. God is bigger. Yes. Amen. And if any one of us were to just go to Jesus, it's not because he didn't answer no prayer. It's just that basically all of us have to go one way or another. 
but please use wisdom. Protect yourself and protect others. Amen. As you uh, obey CDC ordinance. Amen. Pastor Louis, thank you so much. Our Amen. time, uh, you Praise know, has finished. And uh, we pray that God will just richly bless you and bless your wife you, and bless Pastor. your church. Thank you. Can you please uh, say a concluding prayer? Yes. Amen. Father, we come before you. We thank you for this time, Lord. And yes, as Lord. the scripture declares in John 15, yes, Lord, Lord, that if we are to abide in you, and yes, your Lord. words in us, then, Lord, we'll be blessed. Yes, Lord. Lord we'll be able to bear much fruit, and yes, fruit Father. will remain. And that's our vision, God. That's our yes, heart, Lord. is to be able to expand your kingdom, is mm. to glorify your name, Lord. Yes, so Lord. we pray that, God, you would put within the hearts of men and women and young people and children yes, the Lord. urgency. Yes, the Father. urgency to make prayer number in one Jesus in their lives. Lord, yes, Lord. That they would abide in you, that they yes, would remain Lord. in you yes, and Lord. not have to worry because you have promised to mm. give us fruit. Yes, as Lord. long as you're first in our lives, mm. then you would give us the wisdom, the faith, the direction to be yes, able to so glorify God. your name. Father, we bless you. I pray for every person. I pray blessings upon their lives yes, Father. in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. From the Upper Room, United Prayer International, we love you. Our yes. founders love you. Our elders love you. All our leadership love you. Amen. Let's abide in Jesus and see miracles happen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you for tuning in today to our live broadcast. You too can also be part of giving right there where you're at, whether you're watching at home or on the go simply by clicking on the link in the description below or through our Victory Outreach International app. Let's take a look at how easy it is to give. Generosity made simple. Text VOI to 77977. Select the giving link. Enter your amount and gift type. If it's your first time giving, enter your payment details and confirm your gift. Thank you for your generosity. Now we can stay connected wherever you go. Download the Victory Outreach app and stay connected with Victory Outreach International. Get important updates and announcements. Learn more about our ministries. Stay connected with events, prayer requests, and more. Watch the latest video in our media section. Easily share content on social media within the app. Give from your phone in seconds. A convenient way to stay connected. <laughs>